Hey everyone, we're the recreation therapy team over at Rocky Mountain Healthcare Services. I'm Haley. And I'm Ariel. And I'm Jenica. And we're here to walk you through the grant pad and help you with any questions you may be having. Once you've received your grand pad, you can start by unpackaging it. You will lift the flap to open your grand pad. You will have three pieces of paper as a quick guide on operating your grand pad. This will show your charging instructions, your grand pad email will be listed here, and your home page quick guide with all of the apps that we will walk you through later in this video. You have your grand pad. Below your grand pad is your charging station and also comes with your grand pad cleaning cloth and your stylus, as well as a magnet to put on your fridge. Your grand pad comes with a protective case. To view the screen, lift the flap. To turn your grand pad on, you can hold the start button or place it on the charging cradle station. To charge your grand pad, place your charging station near an outlet, plug into the outlet, grab your grand pad, and make sure the protective case that has no writing is facing the front. If you would like to use your grand pad while charging, lift the flap and place on the charging cradle. The first time you use your grand pad, it will take a few moments to fully load. You know that the outlet is working when you have the green light showing. You know your grand pad is charging. When the white light shows up, your grand pad says it is now charging and your battery has a lightning bolt. If you're experiencing any problems with your grand pad, you have the option to force a restart. To do this, find the power button, hold it down, when this screen comes up, click restart device. It'll ask you to confirm, click yes. And when your screen goes black, you will want to make sure that your grand pad is on the charger and you can leave it on the charger while it's resetting. The restart process may take a few minutes. Please be patient and allow the grand pad time to fully restart. If you have any questions or difficulties with your grand pad, click the help button. A grand pad representative is available 24 seven to answer any of your questions. We also recommend watching the training video. There are multiple training videos and you can click the arrow buttons to go over different sections of your grand pad. You can rewind, you can pause. We have the volume to go quieter and louder. The first application you will see on your grand pad is Rocky Mountain Pace. This is where you can call Rocky Mountain Pace anytime you're in need of a question being answered or assistance. To call Rocky Mountain Pace, click Call Rocky Mountain Pace green button. It will prompt you and ask you if you want to call Rocky Mountain Pace. Click yes. Once you call Rocky Mountain Pace, you can change the volume by going louder or quieter. If you know your party's extension, you can hit show dialer and you can type in the extension you're needing to reach on the screen. To end the call, click end call. And it'll ask you to confirm you're ending the call. Click end. Recreation Therapy has scheduled programs. To access these events, click on Calendar. You can see all of the events offered by Recreation Therapy. For example, if you go to Today's Events, you can see that Zoom Bingo has been offered, and you can join that Zoom call by clicking Join Zoom Call and Join Meeting. And to leave Zoom, just click Leave Video Call. It's going to prompt you if you want to leave the Zoom video, go ahead and click Yes. To return to calendars, just click back to calendar. To access the internet on your grand pad, click the icon labeled internet. Here you will see several different websites available to you and you can scroll through them. To access Rocky Mountain videos, scroll all the way down to the end and click Rocky Mountain videos. This will bring you to our YouTube page. If you need to adjust the size of the font to be able to view the pages more easily, tap the larger and smaller buttons on the top right with your finger. You can tap them as many times as you need in order to get your preferred font size. 
If you click videos in the center, it will take you to all of the YouTube videos Rocky Mountain has created. When you scroll through and find a video you're interested in, click on it. If anything like this pops up, just hit no thanks. If you want to change the volume on the video, you can tap quieter or louder in the top right corner. If you would like to go to the previous page, select previous page. This will bring you back to where you were before. If you want to exit out of the YouTube page, click quit website. This will bring you back to the main screen with the different websites available. If you want to quit the internet altogether, click quit internet at the bottom. To use the call feature, click call. You can use this just like your phone. GrandPad will be contacting you via phone to set up your contacts. You will not be able to receive calls from anyone not in your contacts. If you don't have any contacts but know the number you would like to dial, tap dial phone number. You can enter it here using the area code first, then tap call. Your email was set up with GrandPad. You already have that address available to you. To access your email, click email. You can see all of the emails sent to you. This is email one of 16. You can scroll through using the arrow. To view the contents of the email, click read message. This will open up your email and you can scroll through using this arrow to see the entire email. To go back to your email, click back to email. Once you have your email contacts, you can compose messages and send emails using this button. If you would like to access the camera, choose camera where you can either take a photo or a video. To take a photo, choose photo camera and take the photo using the red button. If you would like to set this photo as your GrandPad ID photo, choose the orange button. To delete, press delete photo. It will prompt you again, choose yes or no. To switch to the front camera, choose the blue switch to front camera button where you can take a picture. To save the photo, click save photo. If you would like to share the photo with any family or friends in your contacts, choose yes or no. To quit, choose quit camera. To view any photos you have taken, click photos and scroll through using the arrows. If you would like to add a photo to your favorites, click add favorites. To read any comments from friends or family, choose read comments. To go back to your photos, click back to photos. If you would like to delete this image, choose delete. It will prompt you one more time and delete photo or cancel. To go back to the main screen, click quit photos. To access any articles for reading, choose articles. There are many options to choose from. You can click the arrows or scroll with your finger. To choose an article, we'll press dog of the day. To read, choose read article. To view the full article, click the arrows. If you would like to add this article to your favorites, choose add to favorites. To go back to all articles, choose back to articles and back to sources. Articles will change every one to three days. To exit articles, quit articles. To view the weather, choose weather. You can see in Colorado Springs the daily forecast is 41 degrees Fahrenheit. To view the five-day forecast, view five-day forecast. To go back to today's weather, choose view current weather. To exit to the home screen, choose quit weather. If you enjoy listening to the radio, you can choose radio. There are already three preset stations on your home screen. If you want to add another radio station, you can contact GrandPad support. Like it says here, please contact support to add or change your preset radio stations. But once you add it, it will be here on your main screen as a fourth preset station. To go back to the home screen, choose quit radio.
to listen to music, choose music. Here you will find a variety of different genres of music from classical to 1950s. You can use the arrows to look at all of the options. If there's a specific song you want to search for, choose search music. You can either type in the title of the song or search by the artist. For example, we can search for Elvis. Type it in and choose search. Here you will find different options for what you're looking for. When it pulls up the song, you can change the volume using these buttons. You can make it louder or quieter or you can pause the song altogether. If you really like this song, you can add it to your collection. It will prompt you if you want to add this to your music collection and you can choose yes or no. If you enjoy playing games, click games. Here you will see a variety of different games that you can play. To scroll through your games, click the arrow you can play these games all alone. However, some games may ask you to play with another person, such as four in a row. If it asks you to play with one or two players, you can play by yourself against the computer. To quit out of games, go back to games. It will prompt you and ask you again, click yes or no. Some games like Spider Solitaire will have a training video. You're more than welcome to watch these to go back to the main screen, quit games. If you would like to find the definition of a word or are having difficulty spelling a word, choose lookup. You can choose dictionary or encyclopedia. I'm going to use the word radio. Even if I spell the word incorrectly, I can search and it will offer different options to find the word I am looking for. To view the definition, choose the correct word. To exit, go back to results and quit lookup. To access the toolbox, choose Toolbox. Here you can find the magnifying glass, the flashlight, and the calculator. If you're having trouble reading a book or seeing an image, choose Magnifying Glass. You can magnify the image by choosing Zoom In. If you would like to capture the image, choose Freeze Frame, where you can then bring it closer to you to read. To unfreeze, click Unfreeze Frame. You can also turn the light off choosing the Light Off button or zoom out if needed. To go back to the toolbox, choose Back to Toolbox. To exit to the main menu, choose Quit Toolbox. To access a Zoom video call, choose Zoom video call. Friends and family can create a Zoom account where they will be given a Zoom meeting ID number. To join a video call with friends or family, enter the Zoom meeting ID number where you will then enter a passcode. Type in your meeting ID number. This number is the Zoom bingo number for recreation therapy. Click join video call where you will be prompted to enter your meeting passcode. This information is also listed in your weekly newsletter or recreation therapy wellness calendar. When you are finished, click go and you will be in the video call. To change the volume settings, choose louder or quieter. If you do not want people to hear you talking, choose mute. If you would like to leave the video call, choose leave video call. It will ask you once more, choose yes or no. To exit to the home screen, choose quit Zoom video call. If you have any questions, remember you can choose the help button to contact your GrandPad representative. Enjoy your GrandPad.